What's up teachers on fire today? I want to show you how to set up better flags in your Gmail inbox, your Google inbox. So let's log in to my teachers on fire inbox. I'm going to show you everything that's here. Not a big deal. And of course, over here on the right side, don't forget you've got your calendar, your Google keep your Google tasks. They're all right here. Now, how do we set up this? How do we a code or flag emails according to what they mean to us. So we go into settings and see all settings and scroll down several screens here until you get to the stars. I'm going to blow this up or zoom in a little bit. So here's how I use the stars and here's what I've got in use. By the way, all of these can be dragged from not in use to in use. Okay, that's how I've got to set up here. So first of all, for I, I use I, the I flag as simply information. This is stuff that is remotely useful, helpful. I'd love to come back to it if I have a chance, but it's definitely not urgent. The red, I consider action item. So I flag it if there's action required. If it's not required, then I'm not going to flag it with an, a red action. But if it is flagged red as with that exclamation mark, I'm treating it as a task item. And then the green I've added as something that you would really thank yourself if you went back to this and took a look. It's not a task. It's not a have to, it's a want to. And so that's something else I've added. Now we've got other symbols here. You could add the question mark as, Hey, I have, uh, I need to reply here, or I have further questions, something I'm wondering about. There are a bunch of other symbols you can use, but I love this little system. It organizes my inbox. And of course I'm not showing you my school inbox, but that's where it really comes in handy when I know here are the items I need to respond to. Here are the, the task items I need to act on. I hope that's been helpful for you teachers in, in some small way today, especially if you use a Google hosted email. That's it for now from me, teachers. If that was at all helpful, would you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel? That would be the fuel to my fire and support my work here at Teachers on Fire. Thank you so much. And until we meet again, keep that fire for learning burning bright. Bye-bye.